Installation of the doorbell transformer to the electrical panel. Remove the electrical panel cover. For your safety, turn off the main breaker before removing the panel board cover, if possible. Open the 1 half inch cable knockout in the panel board where the doorbell transformer will be installed. Doorbell transformer 30 volt amps, 16 volt. In the box you will find Doorbell transformer Instruction You may also need wire nuts Doorbell transformer details Label describing the doorbell transformer data. Line voltage side, 120 volt, of the transformer. Threaded transformer stem with nut for mounting in any 1 half inch knockout in a panel board or metal junction box. Ground wire, green. Neutral wire, white. Hot wire, black. Low voltage side of the transformer, 16 volt. Doorbell transformer low voltage terminals. Install the doorbell transformer into the cable knockout in the electrical panel. If the wires coming from the transformer are too short, get a piece of ground wire with the same diameter as the circuit wire from which the doorbell transformer will be powered. Splice it with the ground wire, green, from the transformer to extend it and terminate it to the ground bar in the subpanels or neutral ground bar in main panel. Take a piece of white wire of the same diameter, splice it to the neutral, white, wire from the transformer and terminate it to the neutral bar in the subpanels or the neutral, ground bar in the main panel.
Turn off the circuit breaker that will power the transformer and disconnect the hot connected wire, black, from the breaker. Using the same size black wire as the wire disconnected from the breaker. Connect this piece of wire to the hot wire, black, from the breaker and the hot wire, black, from the transformer. Terminate this hot pigtail wire, black, back to the same circuit breaker. Do not terminate the doorbell transformer wires to the circuit breaker as a second wire unless the breaker is specifically listed for two wires. Instead splice the wires inside the panel to create a pigtail for connection to the breaker. The NEC, National Electrical Code, does not allow more than one wire to be connected to a circuit breaker unless it is listed for such a connection. But it does allow wires to be spliced, connected, inside the panel enclosure to create a pigtail for connection. If the doorbell transformer is connected to an AFCI, arc fault circuit interrupter, or GFCI, ground fault circuit interrupter, both wires connected to the breaker, neutral, white, and hot, black, must be spliced to the wires from the transformer and must be made pigtails so that they can be reconnected to the circuit, breaker, Restore power and replace the panel cover. Doorbell transformer installed. If the doorbell wiring has already been installed, connect the doorbell wiring to the transformer. Attach the doorbell cable to the structure no more than 12 inches from the doorbell transformer.
Remove the cable sheath by approximately 3 inches. Strip the ends of the wires about one half inch and make a loop on the ends of the wires. Turn off the power to the transformer. Connect the doorbell cable wires to the low voltage terminals of the transformer in any order. Restore power. The voltage measured at the transformer is slightly above 16 volts, which is normal. If you are working on a doorbell and for some reason the circuit breaker cannot be turned off, you can disconnect one wire from the low voltage transformer terminal to work on the doorbell safely. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.